Hello, if you are wondering if you can install a Gcam on Redmi Note 14 Pro Plus 5G, then we're gonna test that in this video. So in order to check that, we're gonna go to the Play Store and we're gonna search for an app that is called Gcam Mater. There we go. This is the app that I'm gonna install. And by using this app, we can check if it is possible to download Gcam. So let's open it. We don't have to agree to notifications. We can see that camera to API module is enabled, which is a good news for a start. We can request the Gcam um, because as you can see, the Gcam for this device specifically was not found. If you're watching this video later, perhaps um, the Gcam is already set up for this device. We can also try to get the Gcam for, uh, from similar devices and we can check if it is possible. Unfortunately, error, so no, it is not possible. But we can also switch to this tab over here and we're gonna search for a similar device. So we're gonna enter the Redmi Note name. There we go. And we're gonna try to find the latest version. We have 12, let's see if we can find 13. There we go, 13, 13 Pro, okay. So we can unfold this list in order to find the version of the Android as well as the version of the Gcam itself. So I think we have Gcam 9.2 over here. So I assume this will be the best version to try. And this is what I'm gonna do. Yeah, so first I'm gonna try this one over here. So I'm gonna use the 9.2 version on Android 11 and we're gonna press start download. Of course, we will see the ad, which we can close. And now let's wait for the app to download the installer. All right, after that, we will see this information that the download process is completed and we can go to the folder in order to find it in the download folder. Actually, I'm going to press just OK. I'm going to close this app and let's go to downloads app and let's see if we can find it. There we go. We can find it over here in the downloads. So I'm going to tap on this APK file and we're going to open it. Now, of course, we have to allow and the app to install apps from unknown sources. So over here, we need to go to the setting, allow this. We need to select that we are aware of possible risks. And after 10 seconds, we should be able to press this OK button. There we go. And now we want to confirm that we want to install it. Let's wait for the app to be installed. And unfortunately, in this case, we have the information from the Google Play Protect uh, that the unsafe app was blocked but we can install it or oh, we cannot install it anyway we can try one more time because i think i saw an option to install this app anyway so let's go to more details and there we go we have install anyway so we can press this there we go and most of the time unfortunately if that is the case then the app will not fully work. We might be able to open it. Let's grant the permissions. There we go. Um, so we might be able to open it, but um, but still some features might not work. The app might crash all the time. There we go. As you can see, the app just crashed. So most of the time it is not fully functional. Let's see if we can actually capture a photo. We actually can. So that is a decent site. Over here we have some additional options. You can try to go through them if you wish to. So you can just give it a try and see for yourself if this works. But yeah, so most of the modes are not actually working. Some settings might work so you can test that out if that works. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe to my channel and see you in my next videos. Bye.